August 23rd, 2017. Time, 6 o'clock. All members present. Carol's here to take notes. And we also have the camera going. Good evening, camera. And first thing on the agenda, opening the meeting. Look at articles for town meeting. What do we got for articles for town meeting? We haven't had that many, I don't think. Like five or six years. So. <clears throat> oh, they're gaining. Uh, they're gaining. So, this article you got here to borrow a million dollars. We're already borrowed. A, how much did we borrow for Montpensier Street? For the water main, the whole water mains, 1.3 last year from all. The <coughs> and is that all? Is that all taken care of? How much is a, a year is that going to cost us? Um, I don't. We don't know the final number yet because of that the bond hasn't gone out yet. So no, what I'm getting at, we can't do and keep doing a million dollars this year, a million dollars next year, a million dollars the following year. You won't have any money to work on. <laughs> Correct. Correct, but, but Todd feels that we can do a million dollars easy this year. Oh, great. So now, how well, about the well, if that goes? How much is that going to cost? Well, that's, that's a big thing, too. Well, I think the well's more important right now instead of water mains. I'll be honest with you. Okay. I don't know how the rest well, the, of the board... The article for the wells in here, too. Let's go, let's go, go through the articles first. Uh, what do you, uh, yeah, but we don't know how much the well's going to cost. Are you you know? Wait a minute. Are you talking about the groundwater? Area 5. Yeah. Area 5. That's, that's, uh, that's way down the road. No, it's not down the road. It's going to be done as soon as we can put the goddamn road in. Excuse the expression. Well, so. I mean, yeah, the road will go in, but I mean, as far as getting that up and running and bonding that project, it'll probably be five years down the road. I know, Carol, oh. but you can't borrow a million dollars this right. year, a million dollars next mm -hmm. year, a million dollars the next year, and a million dollars the next year. Okay. You have to kind of think ahead a little bit right. on what's what it's going to cost you over a ten-year period. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting at. We've already yeah, got. Tom, we're, just, we're just talking about borrowing a million dollars next year here. We're not talking you know, further down the road here. You know, we've got to, you know, we've got to look. Let's read all the articles for us. Yeah. Let's well, the first one's to see if we can appropriate through borrowing a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Yeah. The second one, to see if the town will transfer. 150,000 water surplus to add to the, is this for the gates? Correct. Okay, that that has to be done. So you got to have 150,000 going out. And that's going to be in October. Article, well the next article, to see if the town vote to transfer 25,000 to replace the porch, okay. And it won't cost that much if we go the other way. Right. <coughs> but if you put it in for 25, you know, we can transfer it back. Yeah, it just goes bad, and, and that's a simple. Well, that has to be done. Uh, water surplus for purchasing two motors. Those are the spares. Those are the spare one motors, on one for the, for the three and one for the one. Right. That has to be done. That's only ten thousand dollars. And then <clears throat> you're gonna replace the Ford. The international. How come this? It's not a Ford. It's uh, wait a minute. Just cross out the word Ford. How about how about a Ford International? You care if I cross out the word yeah, forward? Right. I don't know how that got in there. I typed it in there. I made a mistake. Sorry. All right. That's going to be done, right? Yeah. Well, we have got a lot of them. 
So to see if the trans water surface 15 pounds of perch is a new surge control valve. What's that for the number one well? It's it's um it's actually for two separate ones. One for number one and one that would cover three, uh, three four, and five. Okay. But it's only fifteen thousand dollars. We upped it to thirty. Yeah, we upped it to thirty. It's fifteen a piece. So thirty in total for two valves. We're we're trying we're trying multiple other options to avoid having to spend it. But it, but it's there. Yeah. I know, but if it, something goes wrong, you have it there to fix. Right. Instead of waiting two weeks, because you can't wait two weeks. <coughs> and you want twenty <coughs> grand for re, re, rehab and well number four. Correct. And that's all six of them. So the only really big thing is a million dollars. But then, then again, I'm thinking. You've got a million dollars now, or well, million three, you said. Yep. And that hasn't been figured yet. Correct. So what's it going to cost us for 20 years to bond a million three? We don't know that figure either. No, no not yet. But that's that's bundled with the tank, so it's it's a total of what 2.7 and change. That's going to be bonded. Bundled. Well, that's bundled with the painting of the tank. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. The painting of it. So those two things are covered. Yep. All right. Then I asked you this morning. I know it's too quick, but if you're going to put the well, uh, put in the well, we've got to know basically how much that is going to cost us, because that's going to be paid over 20 years. Mm. So you got so you got to figure this money in, so that you're going to you're going to be having a half a million dollars by the time you're through here, bonded. Over 20 years, think about it. If you want to put in more water, more more pipes, that's going to be another million dollars. You don't know how much the well's going to cost you. No. I don't know how anybody feels about the water tank, but I think the town of Hanson needs another water tank. I, I don't think that it should exist until another one is made. <coughs> If you're going to re rehab that tank again in 20 years, you don't want to be on Brockton Water. You don't want to be on Brockton Water. Because I don't even know what's going to happen to Brockton Water. So I'm, I'm just making some suggestions. And I think we ought to plan on doing a water tank in the next three or four years. And actually, the sooner the better for the simple reason of the cost. I think I asked Chip two, two years ago to give me an estimate for the water tank and it came into $1.9 million. And the last one that he gave me it came in at uh, $3.9 <coughs> million. Yeah. Now that was just in a two year increment. I asked him today to find out and, and I suggested to him to, to call different tank companies to put in water tanks and see if, if there's any price differential between them, okay? Because I think $3.9 million is a lot of money for a tank. But I agree, that's probably with the cost of living and when everything else is gone up. <coughs> but a $3.9 million tank, I think your people are going to have to borrow it for a 30-year uh, bond. I don't think you're going to get one because you, you can't afford to spend $3.9 million in 20 years. Because if you do, it's going to cost you $300,000 a year, maybe, between interest. <coughs> and if you take that big a bite out of your budget, you aren't going to be able to do much more. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that I've talked to Todd. I know I can get a 25-year bond, which would cut it another five years now. And there is a possibility of getting a 30-year bond, which would cut it way down. I don't think a 30-year mortgage, would, I mean a bond would be bad. I won't be here, but at least the town will have a tank that they can operate with and do proper flushing that we need to do. And once we get all the new gates installed in different areas, you'll be able to control the water 
so that you'll be, you'll be able to flush more evenly. Uh, the gates that they have in now, I think, I think you you could do a thousand feet a night by opening and closing certain gates. Even if you do a thousand feet a week, okay, every five weeks it's almost a mile. And I think the, the bad areas that we have, especially on Main Street, the town hall area is treacherous. And I found out this week, uh, two weeks ago, when I got my sticker on my car, the uh, Ferry's gas station, she says sometimes the water comes out as black as that chair. Now that, that's unruly. I says you've got to call the water department when things like this happen. Oh, we don't want to bother you, and it goes away after a day or two. Well, if we don't know about it up here, you can't do anything about it. Yeah. And that's why the town halls, it's not good. Yeah. And uh, as Chip found out, I, I don't know, I haven't seen the plans exactly, but I think there's an eight inch water main that runs up somehow parallel with the 12 inch that runs up Liberty Street to go and drive and ties into Buena Street 10 inch. No, that's 12 inch too, I think. Buena Street, right? <coughs> right. So you've got 12 coming down High Street Liberty Street. <clears throat> does that 12? Yeah, but that 12 inch doesn't starts at the donut shop, doesn't it? Uh, it goes up to Goldwyn Drive. Yes. It does, go, it does it go all the way to the top of the hill, the Indian Street? Yes, it goes. It goes beyond the top of the hill. It goes all okay, the way. Okay, all the way down Indian Head Street. It goes all the yes. way to 58. All the okay. way to 27. Well, that's good. It's so, I'm just thinking of that eight inch. That eight inch, somehow there must be a gate closed in front of the town hall on the eight inch. So we've got to somehow get clean water down to the ferry's gas station and dump it on the hydrant. We've been kicking this around, this whole area, we've been kicking it around and kicking it around. I know. You know, because we don't know. You know, and everybody's leaning because whatever they do is going to generate more do you want you know and that's why that's why I'm totally in favor of this million dollars for water mains because we got some mains that need to be straightened yeah, but this out mains, yeah but that million dollars is going to go from Reed Street to Montpontius Street yeah that's only half right? it not even half it okay so you know we got a this whole program these articles I mean they're all going to have to work hand in hand too okay you know, you I'm, that what I'm saying, Gil, is you get, you've got to figure the money so that you've got operating money. I know, but we got to, we also have to straighten up this distribution system. <laughs> I, I agree with you. Oh, I people dirty but water. But you aren't going to straighten it out in 24 hours. Oh, I know we aren't, but we got to stop giving people dirty water every time something happens. The only time the water gets cleaned up is when there's a fire, and the, the fire department hooks up to a hydrant. And they well, they just, up. they just, uh, Chip tells me today, they've been opening the one at the fire station again. Yeah. And they don't tell anybody. So even if they open that, even water. if they open uh, that up for testing and put the, tump, the pump uh, test truck Somehow, <coughs> in that, those pipes, those services must be off the 8-inch pipe. And if there's a gate closed on the 8-inch pipe someplace, it's only being fed from one way. It's in a hollow. In that particular area. Yeah. So what's going to happen is if you've got no flow, that sediment's going to sit in that hollow. And then when somebody opens up a hydrant someplace, it stirs it up, and then it gets all through the town hall and ferries. I don't know about the what about the Conway building? I haven't heard anybody complain about that. That's off the high street, right? It's off the high, yeah. It's off high. What about the donut shop? That's the right Dunkin' right Donut. That's right off the front. That must be right off the 12, the 12 inch. They've never complained, right? Not really, no. People tell anyway. Right. Well, you can't tell because the coffee's black anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anything's off that 12 inch. Huh? It's all off the 8 inch. Everything's off the 8 inch. That's the issue. Mm. On that you think the dunk the dunk donut is too? I think everything's on the eight inch. 
think that's one of the issues. There's nothing on that 12 inch. No, we haven't. We need to. The town hall's not on it. We know that. Yeah, the town hall's not on it. No, the town hall's on the 8 inch. And the 12 inch. King's Landing's not on the 12 inch. Golden Drive's not on the 12 inch. No. It's all on 8 inch. So that 12 inch just. Golden Drive is on the 8 inch? Yeah. They went out and did it. Yeah. They can't find anything on that 12 inch. Yeah. They just ran the 12. That was it. It's just passing Didn't tie anybody into it. So if they did, crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's crazy not putting three gates in every intersection right. too. Yeah. But that's what they did with the 12 on Main Street too. They went by Phillips Road, didn't put a gate in. Passed uh, every, every every street except for High. Is they, the meter pits right there, brought the meter pit there. Well, isn't there three gates at, how about uh, Pleasant Street and South Street and Reed Street? Yeah. Because that's 12 going down <coughs> Reed yeah. to South Street to Mont Ponset. Correct. Are there, are, is there four gates at that intersection? Yes. But, if you run the the pipe, the 12 inch from uh, Reed Street to Montpontier Street, yeah. you can hook in Pleasant Street. Right. That's the whole idea. I think get that whole place moved out. Mm. You know, that's what, that's why we need that main. I, you know, yeah. I'll, I'll fight for that main. No, to I, death, you know, I'll agree right. with you. Yeah. Okay, it's another million dollars, but it's yeah. not going to. I don't know what the total, what's the total budget for the for a lot of the department, roughly. What do you mean? A I mean, year. It's one point three million. One point three million. Yeah. Total for everything. To find everything. Well, like how our operating business. budget. Our operating budget is one point three million. Okay. So and then we have surplus, which is like a savings. No, account. but basically you got to operate within one point three million dollars. Correct. And then if 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 it our debt and interest is in that as well, and that's what we pay all our bonds out of. Right. So, so I know, but if, so you got to keep everything down. Right. If bonds go up, one hundred fifty thousand, like one hundred fifty thousand for twenty years, would that come out to a million dollars? Oh. Yeah, at least that. Twenty twenty years, yeah, more yeah. than that. Two point something million dollars over three million. Well, million that can be. What I'm saying is anything's got to be figured so it's within that million point three. Right. But that still but, that still creeps up every I every know. Year. Well, did you put the how much did the raise and what did the raise get this year? Three three percent? Correct. Mm -hmm. Did we add the three percent on to the Yeah. To the okay. I'm just trying to get all the money we sure. can get. No, I I know what you're doing. I hear you. So the next year it's throwing two percent, right? Or the three, it's, three, it's, three. It's, it's three, three again. Well, it's three for the guys again. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all got to be figured in too. Yeah. I mean, we're fortunate that they didn't send it. Well, they did send us a fuel bill, right? Yeah. Finally, how much was that? I don't remember. I think it was five, six. Five, six. five or six. I was going to say it was like thousand dollars. <coughs> yeah. But that was for almost a year. Yeah, it was from last yeah. October. But see, you got to figure those all in. Yeah, yeah, we do. And that's gas too, right? Right. Yes. And Gene, you know, we fig we figure our operating budget, but when it comes to our debt and interest, Todd and Jeannie, you know, come in with no, us. No, he's they, good at they're, they're, he, they're good at you know, they're they're more in tune to what our debt is going to be because it changes every year. Like like for instance. You know, we've got three years left on Woodbine Ave, and that $40,000 a year is gone. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's, our, our debt and interest will, will drop that much. Yeah. But that was on betterment loan, right? Those people are paying that back, right? Right, they're paying oh, it yeah, back. Oh, yeah, they're right? paying it yeah, back. But well, we, so we paid it up front. But yeah. the water department paid for it. Yeah. And they're paying it back over 20 years. So right. these, other two, these last two articles, the 15000 for the surge valve, that's not, that can't be covered in the regular budget, as far as what we have in the regular budget. 
Okay. Well, it's finished at 30000 It's not 15. Yeah. Oh, it's 30000 I, yeah, I changed it on the, uh, the master sheet that's going to Mary, but... Um, I mean, w w we could we could pay it. If, I mean, if we had to do it tomorrow, we, we could pay it out of our budget, but we'd still be going back to town meeting to, to, to replenish the money. Right. Yeah, transfer it. So, what do we got? Six articles here? Yep. I mean, these may change. Um, Excuse me. One, Six out. Thank you. Two. Todd might say take some out of order, but we know. Four. Two. Five. Two, five six. Yeah. I mean, I'm oh, we still got that the, the rest of the tank money there. So well, we have decided about that. Yeah. Well, that's just transfer that. Well, the five hundred thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Todd wants to move that back. So that's six thousand six hundred and ninety thousand. Yeah. 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 The rest of them are now that the last one for the twenty grand for the rehab of well four is that a transfer from water surplus? Where's that transfer coming from? From oh. water surplus. Yeah, All it right. is, and I have to fix that. You know what? I just thought of something. What? We we can't we can't we can't do we can't do a million dollars. We can't do a million dollars. You know why? Because it's it's not in the capital. It's not in the capital budget plan. Well, let's see what he says. Well, we'll have to ask and see what he says. Yeah. No, <coughs> we don't have to, because this, this is what caught us up last year. If 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 you're going to bond something, it has to be in the capital budget. Oh, uh, if, uh, if it's not the capital planning, yeah, the capital planning. If it's not, and it's it not in there. Out, it's not in there because. What was in there was and was okay was the 1.3 for water mains, and then the tank. So well, we didn't know where we were well, going to be. The tank. Yeah. But well, where the money? Where's the money coming from for this exploration of the well? We already got that. We moved that out of surplus. Oh, okay. That's that's just sitting. But that's already, already how much? Five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand. It's like four something now and change. But that five hundred thousand can use be used partly for drilling too. Okay. Yep, and the road. And the road. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can we can we can move ahead with all that, but we can't. This this. All right, we can cut that down. We're gonna get the, we're gonna get the five hundred thousand transfers from the tank. Is that what you do now is put it on capital plan and now so we can do it in. in now the, we can cut this down, cut it down to say five hundred thousand. I mean, it's just gonna the town's just gonna suffer a little bit more. Yeah, but that still it wasn't on capital planning though. No. So you, can you do five hundred thousand? No. Probably not. But, but five hundred thousand. I think Gil is getting what Gil's getting at is we already have five hundred thousand in the tank that we're going to rescind. So it's kind of money. So if you use five hundred from there and five hundred from I, there, I don't think we have to go in capital. Yeah. Okay. Get it on that list. All right. I mean, we're gonna. We're going to do gates. We're going to do you know, all this other stuff. We got to. There's nothing. Really, is there anything in here for gates? Yeah, yeah. the 150. Oh, but okay. The, everything else is coming out of surplus, yeah. and we don't right. need capital but budget to approve. Yeah. The 500,000 that's supposed to be rescinded can't be until the tank is closed out. No. Oh. And the tank, we haven't closed it out yet. Huh. Well, okay. it's in October. Well, I of course, we could put the article in and, if, if need be, take it out, but, um, you know, we still need to. The, the tank that. people, when I contacted them the other day, the tank people said that they had submitted the final payment already. The engineering firm says that it, it, it was not. So, we're, we're in limbo. So, but I, I got on the tank people saying, you know, that we need to close this, this um, ball game here. We yeah. need to move on. <coughs> so, well, I mean, we're not going to improve water quality in this town unless we get some systems done. Unless we get, you know, a couple until of we get some done. pipes cleaned out, so we pipes can get clean and water. mains, you know, dead ends. You know, looped and stuff and whatnot. 
you know, it's been so long since flushing and everything, and we're gonna start flushing next month. You know, you know is this all right? The work, come on, continue on here. What's your superintendent's report? <coughs> okay. Um. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm lost. Are we, what are we doing with the, the tank? Well, we're, we're, we're going to do everything. Out. Huh? We're going to get the tank closed out. But are we not we're putting any medical? money in the, the one minute? Yeah, put it in there now. We can yeah. always pass 500, it over. 000? Yeah, put 500000 Put 500000 in, in place of the million. Yeah. And okay. worst comes to shove, we can, we can uh, <coughs> pass over it. And the, to, unless we get that cleared up at town meeting. And it's still borrowed 500000 Huh? It's still to borrow the 500. Yeah, it's still to yeah. borrow okay. the 500. Okay. Then 500 from the tank is is a million dollars that we can use for water main installation. And like Gil says, it's probably best to go from Reed Street to Mont Street, yeah. right? And mm -hmm. let's, and I mean, we gotta, I think uh, we gotta take a strong and find out what that 12 inch main is doing. We gotta keep you know, I mean, it's going to involve <coughs> opening, closing valves, hide the thing, find out exactly what it is doing. Well, especially down by the donut shop and the other. Yeah, I was at that tap yesterday on uh, Indian Head Street there. That, that AC pipe was pretty damn good. Nice and round and everything where they dug and whatnot. So. Oh, it was? What's that? The pipe, AC pipe, now it gets dingy and dumb. Uh, it sounds pretty sharp. Right <coughs> well, if you don't keep water flowing through it, it gets crudded up too. You know Especially on dead ends. It's a good thing there's loops in the town, but the trouble is the loops they get in, there isn't enough gates to be able to control yeah. and clean the pipe. Mm -hmm. Like I was talking to Chip about the one over off of Whitman Street goes in from what is it what's the Greenbrier is it? Yeah. It goes through it connects into King Street. There's gonna to have to be a hydrant installed in between King Street area and Greenbrier. Yeah, if there's one it should be a hydrant at the end of Woodbrook. No, but the problem is is the hydrant on Greenbrier is this side of the uh, gate of the house, the curb stop, I mean the curb to the gate to the house. There's no way to flush the main. If you, if you run it back through from, well, I don't know, if you run it through from King Street, shut off the one on Whitman Street and flush back from King Street to that hydrant. Yeah, you could do that. And then once you get that clean, you shut off King Street and flush Whitman Street back the other way to the hydrant over on King Street hydrant. Right there's, got be a, there's got to be a hydrant at the end of Woodbrook though. If that that loop goes out to Woodbrook, yep. So Woodbrook and Greenbrier loop together. Yep. That goes from Woodbrook to Greenbrier. So there should be a hydrant at the end of Woodbrook, I would assume. There's got to be a hydrant there. They haven't even been in there to be honest yeah. with you. I don't know where the gate is and where the hydrant's located. Oh, there's probably two hydrants in there or more. Yeah, I don't think. That's new enough. It should be even isolated. They took it. They well, as long as there's a gate in Woodbrook going to. Yeah, Chris, when when they when when that tap failed for that new house, Chris had to isolate that, and it was tight as a drum. Which he did. Right. Well, was there a main line gate? By the hydrant, there is on either before they go in before it cuts across country. There's a gate on either side. I don't know where the hydrant is on Woodbrook. Well, the yeah, well, the hydrant's this side of Woodbrook on on Greenbrier. Right. And there must be a gate after that hydrant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, there is. All right. So you can flush that one. All right. How's your water been? Not bad. Sediment now. 
It's been pretty decent the last, let's say the last five, five weeks maybe. Yeah, getting sediment though. That's my own pipes or what, but it's not going to get sediment. I haven't talked to Lee. Yeah. So much. I've been, I've been asking her because she's another one that won't call. That'd be a good one to check on. All right. Okay. So. So that's all squared on the articles. Yeah. Go on to your superintendent's report. Okay. So I think um, even with that broken the broken valve on the 12 up past sawmill, you know, to get sawmill to yep. cut in their three gate, um, we're pretty sure Chris is going to check on. Uh, on one of the gates, but we can shut down county homes in West Washington to do to do that to do that. Okay, and that only puts what about eight houses out. Oh no, it's going to put a lot more than that. Yeah, it's going to put a lot of people out. Well, it's going to put down the gate this side of Sawmill, right? Yeah. So there's like eight people there, and then there's. Uh, Three, well, it's got to be done. Three up county, probably half 11, dozen, 12 dozen up west <coughs> Washington. And then nobody at homes. Yeah, because of the new gate. Yeah, the new gate that's right there. And then you got a new gate? No, you haven't got one there. No. So that would shut the whole intersection down, plus the leg going back. To yeah, like I said, though, that can be all put together. Yeah. So they, to, and they could dig the hole, yep. they could plate it, get it all set, and then the next day, <clears throat> let the residents know, shut it off. The water shouldn't be off more than, I'll say two hours, yeah. but it shouldn't be off more than an hour, right. technically. Because the minute you get the, the, the two gates in, and then the T with another gate, right? The minute you get the two gates in, you can shut the gate. <laughs> right. Turn the water. Open the hydrant and you can and the other end's the same thing. So you wouldn't be out any houses. Right. So the water should be shut off. I would guess I'll tell you, if I were doing it no more than two hours. Well, that's what I thought too. When they did the other end it took them almost eight. So I'm not counting anything yet. Now what about West Washington, that little loop thing there? They're going to be able to shut that down? Well, that's the, it's kind of a unique situation there, but we're going to, we're going to have to go back up to, is it Pennsylvania or Philadelphia? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah, there's a, there's a, we know there's a division gate up gate there, there that will shut everything off coming this way. So that's, we're going to shut that one off, the one halfway up county, the one at Holmes, and then he should be all set. And then you yeah, shut you know, down. Well, you can run around and you can count the houses that are within yeah. those gates. Yeah. So bad there isn't a gate up here. I mean, we could we could still put it. one in. Huh? You got a gate. Up here. No, the gate I'm talking about is the one on West Washington Street oh. before Home Street. We need a gate there. That way, there you can leave everything open. Homes, East Washington, and I mean West Washington County. You can leave everything open there if you had a gate back. This right. Way. Yeah, and, and we can still do that. It's up to you guys. But it's another what nine thousand dollars. Well, it's yeah, it's nine nine thousand dollars roughly for the for the insertion, and then it's even more for hydro stops. The 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 the. the the, the well, thing. instead of the hydro stop, yeah, but you say you said that the gates aren't, they're failing. Well, they, they, the Abington just had two put in and they're not, they're not controlled. They're, they, they're do they shut, by. Do they shut the water down so you can work on the yeah. pipes? Yeah, yeah. They don't shut off tight, but they shut. Yeah, well, like I said before, if you right. had uh, three inches of water running out of the pipe, you can work on it. Yeah, as long as you got a pump in the hole with some stone in it. Yeah. And that's an insertion gate. Yes. But that's only $9,000. Right. 
Well, you've got money to do that. Well, it would come out of the budget, but we'd still have to replace it. But we can use that money in, in this, the nine, the, out of this article. I don't know, what's the feeling of everybody of that? Well, we got to be able to shut things down so we can flush. That, that's what I mean. No, we got to be able to, and... If you've got a crossroad <coughs> in an intersection, yeah. it should be four gates. If you've got a three intersection road, it should be three gates. I don't care who it is or where it is or whatever it is. But if you ride in any other town around here, I don't know what, well, I know Hanover's pretty much set up that way now. But if you ride through Whitman mm -hmm. or Brockton, and I don't know, I just notice the gates in the road, especially if they go around and paint them blue, Damn, yeah. you can see them. All the roads on South Avenue going up to the center of Whitman, all the roads to the left and all the roads to the right. There's, there's two or three gates at every, three gates mostly at every intersection where the roads come in. And Brockton's the same way. I mean, this should, this should have been done when they put the water system in Hanson. All this work should have been done 20 years ago, 25 20 years ago. 20 years? I'm talking 40 that. years ago. Well, even that, I mean, it's just, it just doesn't make sense. Somebody no, make sense, somebody, somebody was talking to the people working in the water department. Oh, it's much cheaper to do it just with a single tap and slave. Oh, yeah. And it is. I'll agree with them, but it doesn't control any water on any, any main water main. All right, what's your feeling on putting a, a gate up here? I think once it's dug out, they're going to be in for a surprise. They're going to have to do something. You know, because with that intersection, it's crazy. It looks crazy. You know, I think you're going to end is up... Is it ductile lion up there, or no, is it plastic? Transit? Plastic? Plastic and trans uh, AC. Yeah. Well, plastic is, is it's not bad pipe. No. I never put a hole in plastic. I have transit. Well, I'm just thinking about the residents. How many residents would it be? This is what it is in the next meeting. How many residents would be off if you had to shut off all the gates way all up the, the streets? Okay. And how many residents would be off if we installed the gate right up the street here? I will get those. That's one way of doing it. Because then if you if you put a gate this side of Home Street, you're only shutting off the ones in the in the development there. And there's only a couple of three houses down the street. Because there's three gates at that first intersection going in there. So there's a so we can shut the his gate off. At Sawmill. Yep. Yeah. Going this way. This way. So we can still feed up to a sawmill. Right. Right. Well, actually, there's a gate further up. You know the dirt road to go into Newcomb Tree, the old Newcomb Tree? Yeah. You, the house that's to the right of that driveway, there's a gate right in front of that house that works. Really? So we can shut that one down. So you're only shutting that from the second driveway then to. Right. So you would you got what? One? So you'd get one. The Blueberry Haven across the three, street. Four. Five, about five or six at yeah, the most, five, right? Yeah, five there. If we put a gate in there. If we put a gate in. Well just for the hell of it, figure it yeah, out. Yeah, no, I'll, all right? I'll get those numbers. If you shut if you sh if we have to go all the way up Home Street, well Home Street you won't have to, but No. County Road and West Washington Street you're gonna shut off a lot of houses. Right. There's no divisional gates on County Road at all? Well, that's that. the first one is a division gate, and it's about halfway up. Just before P P P Palermo's driveway, his little... Oh, way, way up there. Yeah, it's way up. It's where they started cutting down all the trees? Yeah. Do you know why they're cutting all the trees? No, I don't either. No, it's for, it's for Edison. Uh, Edison. Electric. Yeah. I assumed it was Edison because it was Lewis. Yeah. I just see a guy parking the side of the road every day. I think he's got really whatever. Well, they yeah. just put new 13A cables down there and new poles all the way down County Road to the donut shop. We lost power today because the 
Did, did you have power, lose power? I don't know. I haven't been home. Half a, half a hansom lost power. Did you, did you lose power? Yes, yeah, Bully was down the street from my house. Yeah, Woodbine. Was, Woodbine, Woodbine, Woodbine Avenue and Pleasant. Knocked out the entire town of Pembroke, from what I'm told, half a Hanson and half a East Bridgewater. It was well, a, no, it was a, said the bank didn't have power. It was power. a tree that fell uh, at the corner of Woodbine no, and Pleasant. Pleasant. Really? Imagine that. A tree down there. Knocked everybody out like that? Yeah. Which I don't understand. They, they redid all the whole roads right. and everything, but th that's the old system. The old system, because we'd lose power, the least little trick that fell on that power line. Yeah. That was all redone over. They so redone them. That's, that's what they were saying. I don't know what caused it, but we were, oh, I was up in uh, Tewsbury most well, of the day. The refrigerators and the lights and everything were on, and Clay was watching TV this afternoon. You're lucky. I know I was electrician. It was like, like 2,000 people, total, I guess. No. So. I had power. And go and drive. Well, if you had it, I had it. Yeah. Yeah. Mine comes in from Hanover. Right but here. I know that they said the bank didn't have it. Yeah. Well, go and drive is fed off the pole at the corner at the dentist office. That's where all the power comes up for go and drive. Is off that pole. Mm -hmm. Well, it must come in from Brook Street too. No, there's a back feed off of Brook. You sure? Yeah. That's what the power company told me. There's one time every, when the power went out, I, nobody on go and drive had power, but there was power out on. On Liberty Street, with power up on Winter Street, and I'm like, what the hell's going on? And they said, oh, it's got to be, it's got to be something at the pole at the end of going drive the dentist office, some fuse or something in there. And when the guy came out, he opened it up and he fixed something, and then the power came back on. But it's fed out from the bottom of the street, because that's the way the development was built from that end up. But it doesn't connect into. Is the there poles? Street. Is there poles in there? It's poles up on, on in there, yeah. But the last pole, as you go down and go and drive, they, they just go to the houses and then they stop. There is no connection into no other way to back feed from Brook Street. It all comes in off the end of go and drive by the dentist office. Because hmm. I know East Washington Street, actually up to the corner of Winda, Yeah. that power comes from Pembroke, from Dwelly Avenue. Hmm. So when Pembroke loses their power, they lose it. That's weird because you know people in Pembroke lost uh, people in Pembroke lost in Pineville area lost their power. So weird. Hello. Well, it doesn't concern us anyway. What else you got? <laughs> okay, so um, the uh, truck. I don't. I don't have an exact. I was supposed to meet last Thursday, but he had to cancel. So I'm supposed to meet this Thursday with the truck people because they're coming in to meet with the highway department. So I'm going to go down there and. And be involved in that meeting and discuss a, a truck and get the two okay. to raise it. Um, the ramp. Um, yeah, right yeah, what about it? Yeah. I'm gonna, yeah. They, Don went up and looked at the one at the, at, one, the new at ramp the at, the, at the food pantry. Mm -hmm. Looks excellent. And it was only, how much was it? Twelve grand. $12,000. And it's made out of wood, but it's all for state rules and regulations. And it really it looked nice. And uh, I don't think this one out here would cost that much. And if you had to do it every 15 years, it's only going to cost you what it costs you to do it, rather than spend 10 grand for concrete. I don't know, it's just my feeling. <coughs> I don't know if this one was built to rules and regulations. I don't know if the slopes, less, you know what I mean? Yeah, the what, pitch. What the yeah, pitch is. Why they went down there and then took a right. Yeah, it must be. But that should be you know, wider for you know, a wheelchair. We, we walk it. <coughs> we walk it out, and if you took a you ramp out in the middle straight of the out, you'd be in the middle of the parking lot. So it's you looked it up. It was what a, 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 a an inch yeah. every ten inches or something of incline. Yeah, so we so we. Oh no, oh, so we so we so every so many feet. feet you had an inch, every one inch, foot. Yeah. drop an inch. It's like every foot. Yeah. I know, but it would have to be like, if we figured it out, it would have to be an 18 foot ramp. Right. That's and why they went down and over. But you needed to have a six foot platform when they come up to the ramp so they can get a door open and they could swing around it. They need to be able to get the door open. The door needs to be able to be open and they still have to be in front of it, be able to get in front of it. Sure. So when the door opens. So you would need like a six foot platform, which is beyond what we have now. 
and then the ramp itself was another 18 feet. And we I didn't go oh, measure the food pantry. Into the parking lot. To the right, where, you oh, exactly. right where the mailbox is, when we drive in, we that's where the ramp would dump you. That's a huge, that's pretty big. That's it's, why it's they went beautiful. this way, and I thought, then and that's, that's why I figured I'd mention it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Another yeah. thing I thought about the other day, the door. We went to do something with that door. And, and that way there, there with a limited problem you can't go in the winter time with the building at the threshold. With ice. It should be flush with the threshold. Unless you put, this should be able to roll over it. Flick a switch on the building and heat it. Yeah, it can't be that. It's got to be. It's got to be level. That's why the ramp has to really discuss. The platform has to be level. It could be that easy. Level the door. It could be that easy. It could be. And then here's the thing too. If you run coils, do you have to have a button in the top? How we open the door? Plug it in. I'm not sure. That'd be slick. Huh? That'd be pretty slick. That's something you have to look into. I'll have to ask somebody. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they extended that door up. It brings up another subject there. Because they do that on houses, houses videos, bathroom too. floors. With hot water. Oh, yeah. And they just run. As the heater comes on, it keeps the water, the floor warm. Mm. All right. Um, okay. So. Um, area five. Um, yeah. I don't have any good news. Um, talk to CDM, our engineers, Monday, and uh, they still have not gotten the survey report from the surveyor. So. <laughs> That's what I asked you. Is well, if we paid them any money? I, I, we've paid. This is CVM some money. I don't know off the top of my head how much we've paid. Yeah, but if, if they're not going to produce and have something, I mean, this is going to, September's coming up. So you've got September and October to do work, basically. Yeah. Because November and December, you never know what the weather's going to be. Yeah, I, 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 I talked to the, the engineer from CDM again today, and I told them I wanted to speak to their sub outfit. And he and he's got a call into them already, so he's going to talk to them and figure out what the hell's going on, because they're not happy. Yeah, either. because we got to have a meeting with the conservation. Yeah, we we got to have a meeting with the people. Make sure it's going to be to the, for the residents. I mean, sure. Christ, this has been going on since last fall. Hey, I want to say so he said at that meeting, April, May. Here we are. August, April, September. May, yeah. August, you imagine September. that? No. Okay. Okay. So, okay, sawmill's done. Um, the the um, <coughs> grievance. We got the oh, yeah. Can't talk about that now. Go ahead. We can't talk about that now. Um, no, he's not here. Probably not. I think it needs to be an executive session. Yeah. 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 Let's keep going. Superintendent's report. A couple of things I want to talk about. Okay. Right. Um, that's pretty much all I have. Everything's up to date. Cell goes out. Everything's done. Just waiting. Um, on a couple of things. Maybe you paid up until you paid up to everything for twenty. Until twenty-five thousand dollars, right? And then he'll get his money after town meeting. <coughs> yeah. So, nothing else? No, no. I got a couple of things. Okay. Here. And talking myself the other day here, I noticed that door, and I do know that the landing for the ADA compliance the wheelchair is going to be able to come from the landing to the door into the building. And it can't be done there. I mean, it's going to take someone that knows exactly what it's supposed to be to let us know. Well, it's like that door has been extended. So I'm thinking that, you know, it, it's time to start thinking about interior security here. You know, as far as, uh, you know, either buzzing people in, electric door, or whatever. Because, you know, Carol's here a lot of times by herself, people in and out and whatnot. And this whole deal with 
public buildings and whatnot, people being able to walk in and out. And there's, there's some foolish people out there. You know, there's he, crazy people out there. He's got foolish people along with everybody else. And I think if it becomes a fact that that door is going to be done up to make ADA compliant and whatnot, and I think it might have to be, but I'm not sure. Maybe someone come and tell us. I think at that time, the door should be redone. Okay, done. now, and would that true. fellow know when he comes up to look? I don't know. I'd have to talk to him. I know, but he'll have to to make to give us a price. He's got to come up and look at it if he wants right. to. Oh yeah. But he should he should know the rules and regulations and facts what has to be done to make that make that legal out there. You agree with me? Yeah. And I think that could be done at the same time. That's what I'm saying. I mean, if it's but it might might need a handicap door. It might. You know, I'm not positive myself, but I think it might. You know what I'm saying? The only because reason the town hall's got it is because Mary Lou and Bob took bought the it, money yeah. and bought it. Yeah. That's the only reason Hanson's got it. Yeah. So I think it, you know, if it's got to be done at that time, you know, a security issue as far as an electric door or a buzzing type door or something, so that you know, <coughs> it's important here because you know you do. Yeah, but you also make sure that door back that the back door the back door is locked too at all times. And if the garage doors aren't left, I mean, if the garage doors open and the guys are in there and somebody just walks in, yeah. you know, so I don't know if you don't do that door, but, you know, have an electronic lock at this, where they, where they come in from the garage into here, into the office. Oh, I you know what I mean? I'm not saying do this tomorrow, but I'm saying we got to start no, but, this, but if that but door's going to be up, done. Well, whomever comes up yeah. here to look at it, just give us a price. All right. Okay. Check on them on the door and the security of public buildings. I don't know if they got one at the food pantry either. No, that's a manual door. That was a new one. Like I don't know if automatic doors are required or not. I don't think they're. I don't think they are, yeah. Gil. But I know the access is. You know, it's got to be. Yeah, I don't even know if that ramp is legal at the town hall that goes up from the parking lot. The one on the side of the building? Yeah, that's supposed to be legal. That was done what? Yeah, yeah but that was done a long time ago. 25 years ago? It was done to the It might have changed since then. Yeah. Yeah. How's the door open? Left to right? Uh, I think it does. Yeah, it does because that's, that's where the ramp right. comes up. Go yeah. All right. What else you got? We'll have to put Chris on it for next meeting, executive session. What on? You mean the for grievance? Grievance? Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. You'll have to put that on the minutes for next. I mean the agenda for next meeting, Carol. Uh huh. What, you want to know the date? Uh, I already got it in my book. Yeah. No, it'd be, the second it'd be September, September 13th. September 13th, I think. Yep, it's in my calendar already. Yep. 13th and 27th are the next week. So these articles have to be in the end of the month here, right? In the week. In the week. Yeah. So. Just rewrite them the way you have to and put them in. As long as we got them in, we can yeah, always change them or we can yeah, pass absolutely. over. Absolutely, they'll be changed probably a few times. But yeah. And if we decide to skip over, pull them over, out, whatever, pass over. we can do that. So when do you think the intersection of county and homes here, and uh, when, what's the time period on that? What, what do you mean to, to put the valve in? Yeah. Did, is is that what we're gonna we're gonna put a valve in? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. What are we gonna do here? Well, I, I asked that earlier. Really, uh, uh, do you want to put the valve in here on on this one? I think it would be a wise thing to do because you can utilize, utilize it. Yeah. No matter what. 
So okay. what's the problem, right? That's what I'm saying. What's Will the time anybody period? entertain a motion to put in a insertion valve, is that what they call them? Mm -hmm. On County Road before Home Street. At the cost of roughly nine grand. So moved. Do I hear a second? Nobody wants to do I it. Second. Okay, you do. Bill second. Yeah. And all in favor? Four zero. Okay. So we're going to provide a because insertion valve. We can use that. Yeah. yeah. So what what is the motion if it's to put an insertion valve at County Road? On, on County, County Road, Road before this before side of Home Street. Before Home Street or? Yeah, going this way yeah. before Home oh, Street. Okay. I Because we got money for that. You know, I'm not a favor of Fanny's insertion drills, but you know You what? No. Well, well really. I just... Do you want to spend 13? How much is the other one? Uh, probably be 20, 25. $25,000 for the other one. No, but... But it's... I would prefer the other one. It's more substantial than the insertion is. Well, let's talk about this now. You want to? That's why. That's why I asked again because I wasn't sure where we ended up here. Because neither was I, to be honest. See, I've worked <laughs> on a lot of water things. You know, we need to stick to one thing and decide. And so we I, we can always amend the motion. I mean, the 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 the, the insertion valve, the gate is is an inch and a half wide the, the rubber that goes slides it through the water main it's an inch and a half wide it's, it's far from a resilient a metal wedge. gate uh, a metal yeah. gate that goes down and slots yeah. in the slots so I, I don't know it just kind of gives me the willies how's the one uh, work over on home street it works fine do you mean the the, the insertion the, gate the one on phillips on phillips street yeah I mean. works fine I also haven't had to use it yet either. Right. We also haven't used it, and we're also in an emergency situation. You know? We needed to do it and do it quick. Which, you know, we can do this up here. We're just going to find somebody to do hydro stops and put in a gate if, if we go that route. So is it going to be done? Before the intersection, or after, yes. as soon as you get past the intersection? No, well, this side of the intersection. Wherever the main Our side, you mean, right yes. there right now? Yes. Okay. Well, but would that be what, West that'd be, Washington that'd be Street West instead Washington. of County Road? Yeah. yeah. County yes, Road. West Washington Street. You said the you motion said, is no, County. No, well, it, it's on, what's the street out in front of West us here? West Washington. It's on West Washington Street. Yeah, I think it's pretty much West Washington. Yeah. Whatever the case is, it's underneath the blinking yellow light. Right. So I, I don't know if it's Holmes, I don't know if it's County, I don't know if it's... Yeah, but it should be back with like 50 feet from the intersection. Who would you call that? Huh? The intersecting point of County Road in West Washington? Yeah. Right. Holmes. County well, Road, West Washington, West Washington and Holmes. is at the blinking light and then it that stop sign right there. Yeah, and it hangs a right, right. and Holmes is that way and County is this way. But if yeah. it's before that, you said Don. But if it's right in the middle, it's a cycle. <coughs> no, I meant, I meant yeah. East yeah. Wa West, West Washington. West Washington. Okay. It's my fault. Yeah, no problem. Well, I'll amend the motion then. Can I throw that motion out? Um, Anybody entertain a motion to install a regular gate? So Gill and Bill seconded at what, the cost of roughly. It, what are we calling it? A gate valve. It's a regular gate valve yeah. and it costs more money. But they put in stops in the main so that they don't have to cut off the water to all the houses. So it's going to be the most consoled gate valve at the intersections of Holmes County in West Washington. West Washington. Right. On the water department side of. Uh, West Washington Street. But that way, you won't have to shut off anybody's water. Yeah, the gate, the gate that's 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 broken is right here. West Washington goes this way. Yeah. This is County. This is Holmes. Yeah. That's the gate. Okay. But it shuts the 12 off that comes up West West Washington. And then County Road Main comes down. 
because this is the pipe that goes across. Yeah. And then County Road ties in right here. Yeah. And then this ties in right here. So the water to go down County Road actually comes up, hits homes over a jog, and then, and then back down. down. <laughs> oh, it's insanity. They actually should have uh, a crossbones. Yeah. With four gates. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is why I, this, I'm, I'm leery of this intersect. That's why let's, let's go over the regular gate. Okay. Let's, let's, it's fine. Let's, All in favor? Four zero. Because we got we got an issue there. No, and this way here it'll last. It's going to so, last, and it's going to do something. Because we're, because we're going to end up putting it right here. Yeah, right. So um, we're going to come back 20 West feet Washington and, put Street. In and put it, you know, towards West Washington. Right in the intersection. Yeah. Yeah, because it's to be placed on West Washington Street on the water department side of the street. Well, it might be further because they got to put a stop <coughs> in one yeah. side, then a stop so, in the other. So you'll be between. you'll be pulling down here a little bit more. Yeah. And you've also got gas mains in that intersection too. Correct. We know what we want. It's just hard to write it. Exactly. <laughs> it, it's, it's whatever. I'm just. No, it's a gate installed. A new gate, regular gate installed oh. on just West put Washington C Street. Marks on yeah. the street. West. Just put west here. of Home Street. Yes. Okay. Well, well said. West of Home. I just I just wonder what fluctuating in pressure does to these insertions. You know, they haven't been out that long. You don't know, Gil. You know, they got, you know, with rock and dumping. I mean, how much dumping? Well, it's, we it's, hope how we much don't have to use them again. In the main? Let me answer that. Of the gate, of the insertion? Yeah. Once it's actually just the blade, the blade of the gate is the only thing that goes in the main. The rest of it's housed outside of it, and they cut they cut a slot, an inch and a half slot in it, so that that rubber, it's like a paddle. The rubber pallet just goes slides down. down through the water main. Yeah. yeah. So if if the inside, now granted it's plastic, and or you can't you can't do it. You can't do an insertion on AC. You can, but if the cut doesn't cut properly and it tears, you won't get a seal. Junk. Yeah. So you because that you know, cutter must be a two-phase cutter and it cuts all about that wide. It's 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 a bit. It looks like a routing bit on a router. Oh, and it goes around and the no, pipe? It just, yeah, it just, it goes, it inserts in it, and then you just walk. That's what I mean. It just walks right yeah, around. And it, and okay. it just, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think this intersection, really, it, it's going to, it's going to last a lifetime here, because someone's right. going to be saying, yeah, 20 years from now, what do them crazy <laughs> fools do? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just like we're saying. Well, we wouldn't be here that 12-inch main, you know. I what, would. What are those guys? Okay, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know? Who is still alive? Oh, Garvey. Go find freaking Garvey and find out. Get his notebook. <laughs> so I'll I'll talk to I'll talk to to Todd and see see what we can see what we can do. See if we can because and really get some more prices from a water tank. I will. I will. I got that. I got that down. But if if we want it done sooner than later. Then maybe we. I got to talk to Todd to see if we can piggyback that on, on the water main project, and that way we could just call Selco and have them do it. That's what I mean. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because right. if 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 we, if we can't, then we'll have to go out to bid, and we'll have to wait till October to get the money. Well, to do. We can't do that. <laughs> If this was 40 this is, years ago, yeah. This is all part of our distribution system, trying to make the distribution system better. That's We're right. Trying to give the town of Hanson quality water. If we can't give the town quality water. Without control of water. We can't control it. You know, That's right. You mm -hmm. know, the thing that main breaks, what's going to happen? And it's, it shut the tank down. Shut, you know, shut the whole town down. It's you know? kind of the equivalent of a little piece of, of the pie. But it's still a piece of the pie. Yeah, you know, it, it all, it all, it's all going to be towards the one goal. Yeah, if we had the extra tank full of water, we could flush the other. Well, the whole tank. Yeah, but if we flush. don't have the gates but to you control it, yeah, but you can't, can't if you haven't got no. the gates to control the water. 
Uh, you know, we got we got that twelve inch yeah, main I'm, brakes. I'm hoping gonna happen. We'll drain the I'm tank. gonna I'm gonna watch our production, but I'm hoping like the second week in September to start flushing, and we're gonna. Are we're you gonna, in a total water bed? No, not a total. No, I saw a sign out in front of Speedway. Yeah, they they just they put it up. They uh, hold the grass. It says up. total water bed. Four, like four or five. Or or no, no, it says it, it was in front of the speedway in Hanson. There are old signs that no one took. There's like four of them around here. There's one on the street there. from you. Yeah. We put that down. What? On Vail's on Vail's up. Not uh Paul? Yeah. There's a sign there. Ding a ling. Yeah. What, there's a sign there now? It should be still there. I saw it a couple of weeks ago. I, even I noticed just noticed it today because I went to the post office and made a couple one trips by, down there. Uh, I said the light goes too. Where's the water band? Where's the no water so band? Sign come from? Who put signs, those signs up? Come up a year ago. Been up a year. Mm -hmm. This one looks pretty new. Yeah, they look good. Still good shape. Yeah. Yeah, so you might want to grab it. Well, tell <laughs> tell we'll the water to department down. to ride around tomorrow and take down the sign. You'd be going by like this. I'll wash my car. <laughs> No, right. Somebody, somebody, somebody asked, was, was that, is that Indian Head Street heading down uh, 58? Yeah, Indian Head to Bonfonson. Who's 310? I mean, they had sprinklers going freaking full well, force. Yeah. The, I'm like, holy shit. People don't even. Yeah. I mean, I was getting my truck washed when I was driving by. I mean, and it wasn't just like the mist. I mean, it hit the freaking windows. Yeah, no, one, no, one's, no one's, you know. No it's one's all right, camera. Very few people. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how the sound works. <laughs> I'm sure we'll only hear about it. Long talk. Yeah, probably. <laughs> now I'll be to blame. All right. Anything else you have, Gil? I think I'm good. Not uh, yet? Yeah. He's thinking. You got anything? I have nothing. But he's thinking. How about you, Dennis? I'm a black. I can hear the gears crunching. No, I think that's because. You okay, got anything, Carol? Carol? September 13th. <coughs> yeah, the two dates were set. The Spring Street water main guy should be back in then, To Billy Cushing. Oh, yeah. He's going to be back either the 13th or the 27th. He said September. I don't know which one. He hasn't really contacted us. But. So, what are we going to do there? I mean, if he wants to spend the money and put it, put it in, it's going to be in well, the water. Well, you can put it in. Are we going to do anything on the, the water department end of that place to straighten anything out? Or no, he's going to be straightening it out for us. No. He's putting in 12 gates and an 8 inch water main down Spring Street. And he's going to reconnect Glenwood into the new. And tie it into the Glenwood place. And then he's going to loop it around through his development and yeah. tie it into Glenwood the place. Into Glenwood place. So, so there'll be a loop there. The problem, there may be a, an issue too with um, the easement that he's designed to come through his place to Glenwood. Because he original, originally it was going to be four feet wide at one point. Oh, an easement's got to be wider than that. Oh, absolutely. I agree. So it's got to be at least, I would say, minimum 20 feet. Could you get a truck down there? Yeah. Well, you got to get a truck and a machine if you yeah. have to fix the pipe. Well, that's a minor thing. Because, no, really, if he wants to do it, he's got to do it. I think he struck the, he struck the deal with the homeowner. Right. But the only way to loop it is, is to... They had to acquire another piece of land. I'm not sh quite sure exactly what... Well, because he was really going to come through there to... Right. Feed his well, that's feed. where he was going to feed the place. Right, yeah. but that's at that time when he was going to feed it, it was it was going to be 20 feet wide. But what was going to happen was his his two parcels were going to be like this, where he was going to run it, 20 feet wide, 20 feet wide. But where they connected was four feet. This oh. little span right there was four feet. So he was going to run through there, through that four foot swath. Well, that'll have to be straightened out because that has to go through the register of deeds and everything. What was that? Drawing yet? Huh? 
Yeah, but I, I don't. Listed. I don't think they. It, uh, it wasn't listed on there. Well, actually, it actually it does. I think, but it it's very. Uh, um, just, yeah. No. And a lot of stuff got moved. Yeah. Wasn't there other cabinets there? Yeah, that's it. Right. Uh, Right, right to this piece here. I, this is what, showing right one. Here? Yeah, this is showing one big piece of property. That's not what he showed us before. But we'll have to ask him. See how it rides this property line? Yeah, somebody it's else. Riding that. Yeah, this is somebody else's property. That's not his. Yeah, because he's got it right on the edge of the property because he's going to put a house in here. Right. Well, he's got to have an easement from here, at least twenty foot wide, from here to here. Yeah, I don't know whose property that is. That's going to be his only so down. Some point. somebody over here off of Glenwood is friendly with the woman and said that they would give her a certain piece of land. But, yeah, but I don't know, we'll have to get well is, Oh, that's not a house. I thought that was a house. No, there'll have to be a 20-foot easement yeah, from this pipe to this, this property here. Right there's, here. There's no easement here, I mean, right. you're right on the line. Right, because you figure a house is going to be right here. Yeah. So how close are you going to be to that house? <clears throat> if you ever had to dig it out. Right. Because he hasn't, doesn't, hasn't shown where his location as to where the houses are going to be. No. He just shows plots. That's it. They don't look that big either. I'm sure the houses will be maxed. It'll be the biggest house possible you can fit on those little. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight houses. Yeah. yeah, this is going to be some weird property. I mean, how do you? I don't know. Who's going to buy that? I don't know. I don't know if anybody. My friends live here, I think. All right. Anybody got anything else? That's down at the end. I haven't got to that yet. Oh. Minutes of August 9th. They're here someplace. Yeah, it's just me and you and yep. Gil. Just the three of us? Yeah. Mike was here, Dennis wasn't, so it's just the three of us. <coughs> well, I'll entertain a motion to accept it if anybody's ready. Yes, so no second. Mo motion made by Gil and seconded by Bill. Bill, and all in favor? 3 0. 301. 3 0 0. Oh, 3 0 1. 3 0 1. Excuse me. Thank you. And if nobody's got anything else, then. I'll entertain a motion. You want to set? Yeah, it'll be easy. 713. Unless Gil has something. He's well, thinking. Gil's got something else. He's thinking. No, I'm all set, I think. Huh? He's waiting for the trend right. to come back around. I'm all set, I think. Uh, so you got something that. else, say uh, it. Not yet, yeah. We can straighten it out tonight. Not yet. Seven. So that was 715. Motion to keep motion to kill. Yeah, yeah. All in favor? Yeah, all in favor. Who said it's all right? You do second it. Yeah. Second, yeah. And all in favor? 301. No, Dennis is voting. Oh, that's right. I, Dennis. Four zero. Yes, you are here. Four zero. <laughs> it's 4 0. Correct. Motion to keep motion to kill. Yeah, yeah. Motion to keep motion to kill. 
This meeting is on the 13th. The typhoon.